Hey, Laburn India here with a revision to part 3 of my how to record, edit, and render my videos. Uh, since that video, I found an alternate uh, way to uh, uh, record videos and more specifically to make the file size a lot smaller. Uh, I've been using the method I talked about, which was basically to use fraps to record VH capture. Uh, but the problem with that is, like I said in that video, was the file size was too big. Uh, so I've been searching on the net and I believe I found a better alternative to that that makes the file size a lot smaller. Now the first thing uh, I'm going to go through here is uh, uh, I, I noticed I forgot to mention how I do the line in when I mentioned that. Uh, in my particular case I have a monitor that has the line in or sorry uh, this is originally for headphones uh, but what I did is I this which is in the back of my monitor and I connected this into the line in port of my uh, computer. Uh, this is where the HDMI port is by the way. Uh, now most people don't have to worry about that. That was just more of a, a less clutter for me. That's why I did it that way. Uh, for PS3 users, and by the way for Xbox and just like before with Xbox we don't have to worry about any of this stuff but uh, for PS3 uh, basically what you have to do is you have to have the cord that you got with your PS3. This is the video cord. And uh, in particular, we got to, we're going to use this and this. Now, uh, you also need uh, a Y splitter that looks similar to this. Basically, it takes these inputs, like this, these types, RCA types, and puts it to a 3.5 millimeter plug. That Basically, it's a headphone jack. Uh, or you can get one, let's see, this is the one I have. Uh, they're the same thing, but you're, you're probably going to see this one more common. You get it for a couple bucks. Uh, anyway, uh, once you have that, you then connect that into this. And then on the back of your motherboard, or the back of your computer, you should see an area that looks like this. This is you know where you have, where your speakers go, and this is your mic. But this one here is your line in. So you would connect this end right here into the line in of your PC and that's how I get the sound into my computer now uh, for this particular part of the video that was only just to clarify what I meant by line in before now the, the big part of this video is how I found that the, the new way to record uh, videos uh, first thing you're gonna need is a DivX Pro uh, it's not free Although, to be honest, I haven't tried it with the free version. I don't think it's going to work, though. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's only 20 bucks. It's not that not that expensive. And uh, and that's it. That's all you basically need for that. You install that. And you're also going to need uh, this software here. Uh, AVI 4CC Changer. This is free. It's a little program. It's pretty old now. It's made in 2000, but it still, still does what we need. So just get all these things here that you need. And then we can go on with the tutorial. Uh, so anyway, uh, you need DivX, DivX Pro. After you install it, you're going to get DivX uh, 6.9.2. Of course, it could change by the time you look at this tutorial. And then this is the one in particular you need. I ha it's going to be slightly different depending on how many cores you have on your CPU. Uh, mine's a quad core, so I have four logical CPUs. If you have a dual core, it's going to say two logical CPUs and of course if you have like an i7 I'll say whatever you know as many cores as you have basically so of course the more CPU cores you have the better but you, uh, I think you I think for this you need at least a, a dual core which if you're getting the capture card you probably already have so anyway you go ahead and pick that uh, first thing you do is at least for me I put uh, the frame rate to 60 frames as I mentioned in the previous tutorial uh, it's nice to have something that you can go back on later, a good quality one you can go back on later and maybe do some slow motion or, you know, it's a lot easier to do that kind of stuff when you have a, a higher frame rate. And uh, so, anyways, pick the 60 frame rate, everything else is the same, click this little drop down arrow, then go to the compressor settings, and here's basically what I picked. Uh, pick the 1080 HD profile. That's the, at the bottom. Now, you're going to say, well, why don't I select 720 HD? Now, the problem with that is that if you pick the 720 HD profile, is it limits your frame rate to 30. So if, if you're doing 30, pick that one. But if uh, you want to do 60, you have to pick the 1080 HD profile. 
and it actually says it in, in the description here. But anyway, you pick that, and then uh, check this, and then set it to zero, or you can move the slider already all the way up to speed. Then make sure you pick one pass quality base and set the target quantizer to one. Go to the codec and uh, oh yeah, uh, this is the only thing I changed in here was enhance multi-threading, which means it'll use all the cores that it has available. And uh, it, it'll be like for the fastest. And then the video, I don't believe, yeah, I don't touch any of this. Just leave this as is. Of course, you could check them if he'd happen to have this already installed and you did change something. Just look through this, but I didn't change anything. Then click OK. Now for audio compression, uh, I had a, pro a problem getting a lot of these to work. And just like the guy suggested, uh, I find this too, is use AC3 and click that. And then for the audio format, I picked 128 uh, stereo, obviously. Uh, the guy recommended 160, but 128 is perfectly fine for what we do. And that's basically it for that. Then it's just a matter of uh, capturing your videos. Now, obviously, if you watched my previous video, you're going to see that I have this scrambled up screen right now. And to, to fix that, you'll open up your Avermedia software. And let it do the uh, handshake. And as you can see, it now fixes it also. Click over here to video capture format and select it at your resolution. In my case, it's the 720. Apply OK. And now I'm ready to record. So I'll go ahead and just do a quick little record. Now you'll notice that here at the bottom, it's a lot smaller of the file size. OK, and you'll notice my, my frame rate is dropping. That's because I'm recording with fraps while recording with this. So it's not going to be good, but you know. If you have a good CPU, it's going to stay up there. Anyway, that's enough for that. I'll stop it. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to I'll put the uh, a, a test capture I did with Modern Warfare 2. Just to show you what the quality looks like at the end. Okay. And uh, now it's just a matter of bringing that into Vegas. Now, I had another person ask me, is Vegas 7... Will, it, will my tutorial work with Vegas 7? The answer is yes, and I'll actually sh show you uh, what Vegas 7 looks like. Okay, and uh, now we're in Vegas 7. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little different. Uh, the main difference is, is that the timeline's down below, and then the uh, preview video screen and whatnot. It's, it, basically, everything's reversed, but it is pretty much the same type of program. It, it's going to be pretty much identical uh, for what we do. Uh, to the newer versions. Uh, one thing you have to make sure is to use a 32-bit version of Vegas uh, for this this recording type. The reason is that DivX doesn't have a 64-bit codec, so Vegas 64-bit will not see it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm using Windows uh, or v Vegas 7 for this instead of. Uh, Vegas 9. Uh, I have Vegas 9 and as anybody who has it knows it comes with the 32-bit the as well uh, but for some reason I can't get it to install uh, while also having 64-bit installed because I want to have both of them. Uh, so I decided that to just not even bother with that. Leave my Vegas 9 for other stuff and uh, use uh, Vegas 7 for uh, uh, PS3 footage. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is bring in our footage and I'll use the menu that we were working with okay and then actually I bring it down here and then now you're going to notice something's wrong it's only bringing in the audio not the video now how do we fix that well I went on Google again uh, found out that Vegas doesn't like the DivX or this particular DivX codec for whatever reason uh, so I found out that if you use a program, and I'll bring this up here, I'll show you that, uh, AVI 4CC Changer. Uh, why do we need a smaller program like that? Is that we're going to trick Vegas into thinking it, it's just a plain DivX uh, codec, the earlier DivX. Uh, so what we got to do is uh, open up that little program. Uh, it, actually, when you download it, it's in a zip file, then you unzip it, and you'll get something like this. 
and then you just double click on the little thing a little tiny little box like this opens up you click the folder then you gotta look for your clip and then it's this one I believe yeah two th yeah that's it so open up okay and you're gonna see it says DX50 what we need it to say is just plain DIVX and make sure it's capital letters so put your caps lock on then it's DIVX okay you also need it in this area so again push DIVX or copy and paste once that's done click apply this should come up if done uh, successfully so basically just should say has been set click OK and you're done with that so go ahead and quit now I'll minimize that now hopefully if it worked and it should have we uh, should be able to bring in the clip so again we're going to bring it in and as you can see and I'll, actually I'll, get, I'll get rid of this one delete track but as you can see now we have video okay uh, so now uh, now it just comes again to the uh, editing and and this is pretty much uh, gonna be identical to my previous tutorial so uh, rather than me going through all the steps again uh, I'll just have you refer to uh, the tutorial 2 so the uh, second part of uh, my four part tutorial then all you gotta do is go file and then render as pick the mp4 main concept AVC AAC uh, the I have, again I have a template but I'll show you the settings again real quickly it's pretty much the same only difference is that the project tab is usually over here but make sure project is to best uh, video uh, everything's the same as before uh, and then I think one thing is different is that there's the the bit fl uh, float point it doesn't have it in this but we don't need it anyway because we we don't use it so uh, but there's my settings make sure it's 30 frames uh, and then audio is 128 so that's it for that go ahead and rename your template to whatever I put it YouTube 720p HD 30 frames I'll also probably make one for 60 uh, but you know yeah and then go uh, okay name your clip whatever you want I'll just leave it untitled and uh, uh, go ahead and save it so go ahead and save it'll render it out and that's basically it so uh, uh, now I'll just go ahead and show you a quick uh, look at my uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, clip. Uh, it was uh, through the Spec Ops, so it's not really so much about skill, but just show you the quality of it. So again, uh, until next time, uh, this is Laburn98 signing off.